coming to the next topic st elevation in avr st elevation in avr with coexistent multi lead st depression indicates sub endocardial ischemia due to oxygen supply or demand mismatch the causes might be left main coronary artery stenosis proximal left anterior descending artery stenosis severe trouble vessel disease hypoxia or hypotension for example following resuscitation from cardiac arrest ST elevation in AVR can also be seen in the context of anterior STEMI due to LAD occlusion proximal to the first septal branch, causing infarction of the basal septum. Such cases will be associated with ST elevation in anterior septal leads. This is an ECG where we can see an ST elevation in AVR with concomitant ST elevations in V2 and also V3. This ST elevation in AVR is one of the MI equivalent. Uh, in order to consider ST elevation in AVR as an MI equivalent, we should have corresponding uh, ST depressions in V5 and V6. But the context in which we consider these ST depressions in V5 and V6 is quite important. If this is an ECG of a patient with LVH with the corresponding ST depressions in V5 and V6 with an ST elevation in AVR, then this cannot be considered as an MI equivalent because NVH also causes ST depression. So the context in which the ST depressions need to be considered in con uh, while considering ST elevations in AVR. So causes of ST elevation in AVR, the two possible mechanisms might be diffuse subendocardial ischemia with ST depression and the lateral leads producing reciprocal changes in the AVR being the most common. And infarction of the basal septum, that is TAMI, involving AVR. The basal septum is supplied by the first septal perforated artery, a very proximal branch of the LAD. So ischemia or infarction of the basal septum would imply involvement of the proximal LAD. Thank you.